introducing Bozo, the world's most famous clown. <laughs> Let me get my... Oh, Mr. Lion, I'm stuck. I yeah. can't get off the butt. I got an idea, Bozo. What's Just that? a second. One, two, three. Huh. Hey, I'm glad I thought of that. That's pretty good. Well, I'm glad you all made it here, too, to the Bozo Big Top. Because, oh, Nelly, we got so many exciting things planned for you. Mr. Lion, the fastest draw alive, is going to be here, of course. And uh, one of my favorite circus pals, Flip Flop. You know, my six-foot rag doll friend. <laughs> He's going to stop by. And I always enjoy his visits. And my new pal, Professor Tweety Boofer, is here. He's got some real tricky tricks that he's going to he's gonna perform for us. And another try at Bozo's bonus treasure chest game. Plus a humdinger of a Bozo adventure. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, wait, Mr. Lion, wait for me. Now, wait, I want to get on there, too. Mr. Lion, now, come on. Wait. I was just realizing that so many of my pals, uh, I can't wait for, for Mr. Lion to come by. He, we have so much fun. But before, before he comes in, I thought we'd play this game. Everyone was asking me, they love to do that big eyes. Can you play big eyes at all, Phil? Are you good at All right, now, I want you to look just straight out there and make those eyes as big as you can. Bigger than that, Bill. Come on. Bigger. Can't you make them bigger? A little bigger than that. All right. Well, I tell you, before you do that, I'd like to present right here in the center ring of the Bozo TV circus, the fastest draw alive. Boys and girls, here's Mr. Lion. Boy, all set, Mr. Lion. Let me just set up my easel here. Wait a minute, Whoops. Mr. Lion. The, the, here, he moves so fast. Here. All right, please, set it up. I'll get it off. Whoops. Quick. Would you please there, pick it out? Boy, okay. that's a wiggly easel. That's all right. We'll set it all good up there to get it all set for you. Mr. Light, get your drawing board on it. And now, are you ready to do some fast I drawing? I think so, if, if anyone has a name with it. Oh, well, let me get a model for you. I'll find out. It. Okay, Philip, come on. Let's try this path. This is Philip right here. Philip, okay. Put Philip's name on your drawing board. And before you count to 30, watch what happens. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> it's a nice looking picture of your self portrait of the famous Mr. Lion. Why don't you take that, Phil, and we'll see you a little later. Let's try a little girl. Okay, Debbie, come over here for a second. Here's a, a, a pretty little girl. Her name is Deborah. Deborah. This is Deborah right here, and it's spelled D E B R A. Watch what happens again before you count to 30. That name will disappear. Here we go. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, it certainly is, too. Here's a fishy story for you, Deborah. Hold on to that. Let's try one more. Mr. Lion, we'll get all set to go. Little girl. Okay, Jody, come over here. There's a little girl. Jody, come on. Out. I don't think we've had the name Jody, have we? Jody? I Jody. don't remember. This is Jody right here. J-O-I, a J-O-D-I. <laughs> now watch what happens before you count to 30, because here we go for the final time. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Ugly, 
octopus, Mr. Lot. That's right. <laughs> you take that, Jody, and we'll see you again soon. How about, how about that? I said, you're terrific. You're terrific. By the way, Bozo. What's up? What's up? While I was out back, I saw a big brown box for Bozo. And what? And I'm going to go out and see what it is. A big brown box. A big brown box? Big brown box. Well, go ahead. Tell me what it's all about, will you? See you now, Mr. Lot. Be careful for the corner. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, Billy! I just realized. Mr. Lon went out to look at that big brown box. Mr. Lon, did you... Whoa, Ikazali, look at that. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Handy, Is that Bozo. for Bozo here at the big top? Wow, I wonder what it could be. There's a sign there. It says, this side up, but the arrow's pointing down. You better turn it the other way around, fella. Oh, don't spill anything. It might be breakable. Wait, there's something written on the side. Very strange writing. Wait a minute. Look what, look at the picture of the Sphinx. Whoa, you know what? The, those look like hieroglyphics, Bozo. They look yeah. like hieroglyphics to me, Professor. Do you think you can you can decipher them? Well, I try. Wait, while he's doing that, that picture the Sphinx reminded Bozo of the time that King Jinx found his Sphinx missing. That's that's right. We were going to Egypt, Butch and myself, and what happened is that we moved along, right along the desert, and we saw this Sphinx. Wow, Egypt, land of mystery, in tree, and a land of sand. Ain't much water around here, Butch, but dig this crazy beach. This miserable guide finds an oasis ahead, Sahib. We will spend the night here. Bozo, what's Elvis so excited about? Old Elvis is always digging up something, Butch. Whoa! He's making a molehill out of a mountain, Butch. Bozo, look. What's that thing, Bozo? It's a sphinx, methinks. Golly, we discovered a lost sphinx. Gee, Bozo, there's a door to the sphinx. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Anybody home? Somebody in there sounds just like me. I wonder what's inside a Sphinx, Bozo. Beats me. Let's see. So, they have discovered the missing Sphinx of King Jinx and the King's Jewels, too. <laughs> sure is a spooky Sphinx. Sure is a spooky Sphinx. Who does say spooky Sphinx when I say spooky Sphinx? <laughs> Bozo, what's that? <laughs> Sounds like it's come from inside that mummy, Butch. Blasting out of this creepy sphinx, Butchie! Follow me! Bozo, where you going? Bozo! Hey, Bozo! Ah! Sounds like my pal Butchie's in trouble. I gotta use my head, or maybe my feet. Here goes nothing. Bozo, help! <laughs> Whoa, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Boy, was that crummy old mummy surprised. That you, Butch? Butchie boy, speak up. Butchie boy, you been in an accident? Bozo! Butchie, if that's you yelling, then who's he, huh? <laughs> Stretching the material. Howly, wonder where my pal Bosa is. So, you're not a real mummy. You're our guide in disguise. I'll mail you back home. Give trap. <laughs> Gee, Bozo must be lost or something. Uh-oh. It's you! 
I thought the light was green, officer. Oh, honest Abdullah, the thief of Baghdad will swipe this kingly jewel from the Sphinx of King Jinx. Bozo, that crook swiping the king's jewel. <laughs> that clown will never catch honest Abdullah. Come back with that jewel, you schnook of a crook. Stop, please. Abdullah will bury this jazzy jewel and dig it later up. <laughs> Bozo, he's getting away with the jewel. It's no use, butchy boy. That crook got off with King Jinx's jewel. Bozo, look. Elvis is at it again. And look what he dug up this time, Butch. It's the jewel of King Jinx's Sphinx. Good boy, Elvis. I'll just put the king's jewel back where it was. He who touches this jewel will have an accident. Be careful, Bozo. You might have an accident. Nonsense, Butch. Bozo, look out! That's nothing but a silly superstition. No wonder I fell, Butchy boy. Look, it's Friday the 13th. <laughs> Game time here in the Bozo Big Top. And this is a game we enjoy playing called the Bozo Balloon Stomp Game. Before we play the game, let's meet our players. Come on in and say hi to everyone. Don't you look nice with your Bozo hats and everything. This is a Claire. Nice meeting you, Claire. Take care of those squeaks. Dolores, nice seeing you. How are you feeling today? You look nice. And Mark, how are you today? This must be Robert. Boy, the hat goes with your plaid jacket there, Robert. It's nice. You can let go of my hand, if you will, please. Thank you very much. Well, this is how we play the game. We're going to have two teams. Let's have it the girls against the boys. The girls have the yellow balloon. The boys have blue balloons. Now, notice that they have their balloon attached to their left foot. Now, the object of this game is very simple. You put your hands behind your back, and you have to stomp out their balloons while the girls are going to try and stomp out your balloons. The first team that stomps out both balloons will be the winning team. Now, I don't know who's going to win, whether it'll be the girls or the boys. Who do you think will win this time, the girls or the boys? Sometimes the girls win, sometimes the boys win. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Hands behind your back, teams. Ready for Boozo Balloon Stomp. Go right to it. Hands behind your back, hands behind your back. Okay, okay. you can get a yellow one out here quickly. There's one loose. Get it. You can get a yellow one quickly. All right, there's one yellow is out. All right, watch out for the blue. You can... Oh! The boys did it! Come over here, gang. Wow, we you're you're pretty good balloon stompers, all right. What do we got from my pals? Oh, Nelly, I know you're gonna be happy with this. We have some doubly doubly goodly good bozo pops for each of you. For you, Robert, and a whole gift box for you, Mark, too. And the girls, I know you're not gonna feel bad. Look what Bozo has for you, some beautiful new Bozo lunch boxes for each of you. You take that, and Dolores, there's one waiting for you over there with Mr. Ringmaster. Go see Mr. Ringmaster, he'll help you out with that soon. Mr. Ringmaster has it right over there, uh, so just be careful. Don't trip over the balloons now. That'll be kind of silly for you to do anything like that. What's that drum roll, Mr. Ringmaster? What's going on? Oh, Nelly! Professor Tweety Pooper, what are you doing? Wow, we look at him balancing that ball on that beautiful umbrella. Wow, how about a hand? Boy, Professor, I knew you were a terrific balancer, but, you know, give him a hand, it's still up. Professor, let me see that ball there. Would you look at that? I knew you're always up to tricky tricks, Professor, but I didn't think you're gonna <laughs> fool me like that. Can't you do a, a real exciting magic trick for all the, the boys and girls? Yeah, Mr. Bozo, a big trick. A big, big trick. Oh, yeah. I could make a very big trick. Really? I could make, I could make the entire Bozo circus disappear. Including Bozo? You too, Mr. Bozo. Right here before everyone dies. <laughs> do you think he can do that? No! All right, I'll go along with you one I more go. time. Let's see you do it. Go ahead. One, two, two and a half, three. You did it, Professor. <laughs> Professor, you did it. Professor.
Professor Tweety Pooper. I see we're back here. You're up to some some funny fooling around today. All these magic, exciting tricks you're doing. Somehow they they, they really fool Bozo. <laughs> Have you really got something you can really do now? No tricks or anything. Mr. Bozo, I could do a trick where I juggle four clubs. One, two, three. Three clubs, you mean? One. Yeah. Three clubs. <laughs> three clubs. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna do that? Oh, that's uh, that's pretty good. I guess. And I, I I could make it blindfolded before my eyes. Wait, now, let me get this straight. You're going to juggle these three sticks, and you're going to do it blindfolded? Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me see that blindfold. <laughs> That's a real blindfold. I better have one of my pals double check. Richard, come here for a minute. Would you look and see if you can see through that? I want to just see. Just look there. Can you see through that? Well, I guess it is a blindfold. All right, you can take your seat, Richard. All Could right. you hold my glasses, Mr. Brown? All right, I'll hold your glasses. That does good. <laughs> All right. All right, now he's got his blindfold on. All right, let me just double check now. Is it on? All right, how many fingers do I have up, uh, Professor? I can't see you, Mr. Bozo. I guess it's true. All right, there he is blindfolded. You dropped one of your sticks, Professor. Do you know, it with any help here, little I They just really can't see. All right. Here we go now. Let's see what we can do. Jiminy Kazooks, he's doing it! Look at that! Boy, take a bow, Professor! Professor! Oh, you did it again! I better get you for that! That's the last time you're gonna fool Mojo! Come on, Professor, now you come on! Get, come on! Get out! Get out! Get out. Come on! Listen to that siren! You know what that means! It's time for the Mojo Bridget Test the Toys waiting for someone here at the Bozo Big Top. Butch, come on out, because you get the honor of seeing which boy or girl it's going to be. Close your eyes real tight and stick your hand right in the hat and pick out one of the numbers. Here we go. Almost like the professor there for a minute. One number and let's see who it's going to be. It's number 18. One, eight. Number 18. This boy right here. Thank you, Butch. Thank you. Well, hi, Bill. How are you? Boy, look at those eyes about ready to pop right out of your head. You, well, you see the treasure chest right here, don't you? You know how we play our special bonus game. Let me move the treasure chest just a little bit. And Mr. Ringmaster, would you bring in the hoops? <coughs> look at here, Bill. These are two hoops with a giant balloon right attached. We take off the balloon. The object of the treasure chest game is for you to throw the balloon either through the small hoop or the big hoop. If you get it through once, in 30 seconds, you win every toy in the treasure chest. You stand right here on the starting mark at the end of the ring. The only thing is, once you throw it, you run and get it and bring it back to the starting line. You can throw it as many times as you want. All you have to do is get it through once. Be kind of easy if I just left it like this, so I just give it a little, little twist on this. Ready? Here we go, Ben. Right, go get it quickly now. Bring it back. All right, okay. Easy, easy. Just get it, Bill. Bring it right to the starting mark over here. You still have time now. Just take your name. Hey! You did it! Whoa! Kazoe! He really did it! Bring in the treasure chest, Mr. Ringmaster! There it is! Roll it right in! Here we go! Wowie Kazoe! Here's a whole treasure chest of toys! Look at that! Boy, Billy, I hope you're gonna be happy because we have. The, the, the Bozo Hassock for you. I know you're going to enjoy that. We got a whole lollipop factory. We got some guns and, and uh, all the battery cranes here and a Bozo talking trike, all kinds of things. So I hope you're going to have fun with that. We'll give these right after the, uh, right after our circus show, okay? How about a nice hand for Bill, another Bozo bonus Reggie Test winner. Wow, we Kazawi, that's pretty exciting, isn't it? Well, I tell you, it really is whoo, another winner right here in the circus. <laughs> Professor <laughs> Tweety Boomer, did you just see that? We had a big treasure test winner here in the circus. That's why you're talking to Ching Bang Boom and Woohoo! And he meant it. Now, wait a minute. I was trying to catch you before because you fooled me for the last time. I hope you don't have another trickety trick up your sleeve. Oh, Mr. Bozo, I have a very, very, that's the hardest thing I ever did. Do you think I should let him try one more trick on me today? I right, just one. All right. I'm going to watch you very closely. Now, what's this? I'm going to take this ping pong ball uh -huh. and put it, the whole ping pong ball. The whole, the whole oh, ping yeah. pong ball. And yeah. put it on my nose. 
and balance it, and... Wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. That doesn't seem printable. Well, let me check and see if this is a ping pong ball. It's a ping pong ball, all right. It's a peppity pippity your ping pong ball yeah. wins. Yeah. Well, let's see if I can balance it. You gonna balance it where? You, you could not do it, mister. It's very... Oh, you could not... Wait a minute, it's not as easy as it looks. You couldn't do it! You balance a ping pong ball. <laughs> well, I all right, let me see you do it, Professor Tootin You can't do it either. See, he's going to try and balance that right on his nose, and I guess he can. Oh, on his forehead. Wait a minute. Hey, that... Professor! <laughs> Professor! Professor Tweety Foofer, I see you finally deciphered what that funny writing was on the outside of that special box. Yeah, Mr. Bozo, see you. Do you see these hieroglyphs? The hieroglyphs? <laughs> well, <laughs> what is it? Do, do you know what they mean? No, tell me. <laughs> that means we have to open that up right away, if not sooner. All right, well, let's get to it. We'll open up the box. Oh, it's. Ooh. It looks like a mummy, just it like moves. the one in my adventure. <laughs> it moves. That mummy is moving! Wowie Kazowie! Well, let, let's find out what it is and, and unwrap it up there a little. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What? Unwrap it just a little bit. What do you think it is? A moving mummy. Well, uh, Professor, you unwrap it, and while you're unwrapping it, what I can do is tell all my pals that. Oh, look, look, look here! <laughs> flip flop! Oh, flip flop! Playing another one of his silly tricks again. I thought it was a mummy like the one I found over in my adventure in Egypt. It's sort of unwrap you a little bit, Flip. And while you unwrap a professor, I can tell the boys and girls that we'll see you next time for more surprises here in the Bozo TV Circus. Till then, always keep laughing! <laughs>